I'm speaking with Lloyd Wright, author of Hepatitis C, a do-it-yourself guide for health, which just came out recently. Now, one of your products, and uh, you say it's a very good one, is blueberry ex extract. Uh, and I'm reading in here about some of the Japanese research that you document in the book. Why don't you tell us about it? I got these studies that showed that a university in Japan had determined that proanthocytians found in blueberry leaves from the Midwest of the United States had the ability to inhibit the replication of HI or HCV, which is hepatitis C virus. So I thought, well, it would be a good idea to provide that, and I couldn't find any that had much proanthocytian in them. You couldn't go to the store and buy blueberry. Now, are they only found in blueberries from the Midwest, or are they found in other parts of the world? If you look at the ones on the internet, you can buy blueberry leaves, but try to look at the content of proanthocytian. It's either not there or it's very small. So I, since I couldn't find what the study referred to, I had to make my own. And I, I have documents that certify my blueberry contains at least a minimum of 45% proanthocytian. And we make it from those that same source. And it does, it alters, according to the study, the DNA in a certain way that makes it so it's difficult for the hepatitis C virus to replicate. And it's complex reading. It's on my website, and I can email it to anyone who uh, wants a copy of it. And there's a whole lot more than just one. Now, since they came out with that from Japan, there's studies from all over the place about it. Now, it says here, a success in lowering AST. What is AST? That's a liver enzyme. There's two main ones that you measure for hep C, AST and ALT. And... This, this item works great. And, you know, I always take items that I make because I like to know that, you know, I just take them. And um, I took blueberry leaf for a year. And during that year, I noticed that I no longer use, uh, other than some circumstances, reading glasses. And when I started taking that, I wore reading glasses to read everything. And, and then when you say here also viral load, does that mean the amount of viruses in the liver or in the body? Well, the viral load is, is called a PCR test where they measure the amount of virus in your blood. And it's usually a pretty big number. It's usually in the millions. If you have hep C. Yeah. If you don't have hep C, you don't have that viral load. So, yeah, it inhibits the viral reproduction, and that can cause your viral load to go down.